This is called Breaking Up With A Gnosis. Martel Tanel. Melody is happier when she's not around you. Well, she's talk he's talking to Nell now. He's blaming uh Nell now on why Melody don't want to be around. So let's just listen, you guys. Yeah, she she's not feeling you right now, still. This ain't just around people. This is around okay, so. around y'all. Yeah. So so what the Nazis do? This is called breaking up with a a, a, a Nazis, right? On the other hand, the 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 Nazis, he's he's very manipulative, right? He's self centered and don't care about nobody feelings for his. Now he is insulting this lady, <laughs> telling that uh, oh she only acts uh. Uh, funny when she's around y'all or she's happier when she's around y'all in other words he's shading this lady telling this lady it's her fault it's the fletcher fault now that when he that uh you know she be shunning him boy it, it must be very difficult to live with this man y'all it's very difficult because it's difficult for me to sit through this for these few minutes, this woman had to sit through this bull for years. And then uh, Nell even went and told her husband, Fletcher, said he about drove me crazy. He woke me out. But you're saying when she's not around us, she's speaking. Yeah. Happy. <laughs> like, have it. Uh, you're like serious. I'm dead serious. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, he's serious. Yeah, you need to know who you dealing with. He's dead serious. Yeah, a narcissist. He's so self centered. That's just it. He's self centered. He can't think of anybody but himself. He's so captivating. Just so captivating till, <clears throat> you know. I can't see why nobody else would not want to be around me after all i'm a charming man i'm captivating i'm just a good a great person in other words this self-centered nazi don't care about nobody feelings but he yeah, like you know baseball game or some baseball game we we, we talk you know she seemed happy and cheerful you know she'd come and sit and go like beside him but she'll sit um, yeah. Yeah, so the best thing Mel could have did was left this man because what it does, it benefit her emotionally. It benefit her health. It benefit her life. It benefit, uh, uh, it benefit her whole mental being, her spiritual You know that Mar if you know that Martel's being, you know, he gonna be one way, he gonna speak, and and um, I mean, I think that you should just be the same way. Just be my lap dog, just controlling. You know, I gotta control you. You don't have no mind. Everything is, should be self centered about me. Yes. Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, no matter who we, who we're around. You know, let's not put on the front like um, we don't get along with each other in front of people. So you think it's just me and Chris because we the ones that count? Now look at him. He up there like, oh, yeah, you know, it's me. Whoa, it's me. It's, it's not. It's Melody Folk. That's the reason I'm sitting up here talking to you on the steps right now. Because it's Melody Folk. Yeah. 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 You know what? He never mind that he just had ripped the bandage off of her 
without even considering her feeling, y'all. He just took and ripped it. Y'all know how somebody could just take and rip that bandage off and then don't let you have hair on your arm somewhere. That shit hurt. But yeah, he don't hesitate to rip the bandage off of Melody without considering her feelings, you guys. Boy, this, he done put this woman up like in a car crash, just come like a car crash. You don't see this car crash coming, man. That's how he do. That's why you can't even just let him walk you out to the parking lot. Because it's like you don't see that car crash coming. He would explode on you. Like, was counseling you guys at first? Or you said the whole group as a collective? I think as a collective. I think. Yeah. Okay, I whole, think it's collective, yeah. The whole group? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. But, you know, again, I, I'm not going to swear. I don't give it too much even... No conversation or not, you know? Look at, that, look, at, look at the face say something and what he's saying is different. It's, it's exhausting. It's exhausting talking to him. It is exhausting listening to him. It's got to be exhausting dating him. And it's got to be exhausting to be married to him. I mean, triple exhausting. Well, on the surface now, there he go trying to be, he'll be charming. He done switched over to the little charming. Y'all hear that? The, he he going to switch over to the little charming part of him. Then he'll switch over to the captivating part of him. And then he'll start trying to manipulate you into his world, you know. At the same time, he don't care about your feeling. It's all about me. And it's you. And it's not me. Pretty much. But you know, again, I, I'm not gonna swear. I'm not gonna give it too much, even no conversation or not. You know, just yeah, go with that. Go that charming, okay. charming. That's it. And I agree with that. Yeah. With you, you made a statement. Pick a side now. Oh, why, said, why do you <clears throat> say that? Why? Why? That that kind of bothered me. I think all the should I just let you speak? Because I what I have to say, I think out of all people, me and Chris should be the last two picking a side. Yeah. Well, you know what? One thing about a narcissist, the only reason that he wants you to pick a side is because he want to use you. It's how he can benefit from you. You know, he benefit. He's not going to do nothing. I want your friendship unless he benefit. He's benefiting from you guys because you guys keep a roof over his head. Yes, you do. He got to get something out of this relationship. That's it. If he ain't getting nothing out of the relationship, he won't hesitate to break up with you. Y'all hear what he just said? Y'all heard what he just said? You got to pick a side. Uh, you know, either, either me or her. And that's controlling right there, too. And you're talking to another grown woman. And it's very disrespectful. And just me and Chris, we be in conversation. You know, like I, I told him, I can see if to Melody, I, I'll be real, man. She she's she's done a lot of hurtful stuff toward me. Um, he don't care nothing about this lady feeling. He had ripped her heart out, y'all. Flipped the heart up, turned the heart upside down, stabbed it in the back. Every damn thing he could do to this woman. He has no feeling because everything should be self-centered around him. But he want her to come back. He need her to come back because he needs something out of her. He knows he has been out there by himself and he knows that he cannot get out, out of the other women's what he get out of Melody. Yeah, he's brutal, y'all. Very brutal. But he realized that if he don't realize one thing, it, that he's not better off without her. He didn't see that. He's not better off with Melody. He wants her back because he needs something for her. That's finance and stability. And I was watching uh, one of the other... Uh, one of the other episode where he was telling that guy that he just 
he just had all these women driving his nice fancy car, all these women around him, said he gave the big head, like a little kid now, a married man with children. Said it make him feel like a big head, all these women around him like that. He thought he could do what he wanted to do with Melody. And to me, I, I think of you and Chris, like, don't, like, try to be friends and, like, go and talk to her and ask her and really have her self-accountability for the things she's done. I wouldn't even... Accept accountability for what she done. Again, with the narcissist, it's always you and never me. And, and it's never, it's nothing to do with you. It's nothing to do with Mel. It's nothing to do with nobody but me. It's always about me. Now, I, I, I run the car into you. I, I crash the car into you and tear your life up. I'll take a bad age and rip your heart out. But everything still should be centered around me. I don't care about your feelings. It's not about you. It's about me. What about me? I'm just saying, it's like if you guys are gonna be her friend and she's keep doing me like this, uh, again, we've gone to court for everything that she that, that that she's accused me of doing. Pick a side, pick a side, pick a side, pick a side. This man is brutal, y'all. He is brutal and he mean it. You can't, I can't be friends with you if you even talking to Melody. I can't be friends with you. Pick a sad breaking up with a narcissist. This is this man is exhausting, y'all. All the while he over there love bombing uh a uh, coleslaw. He 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 love bombing her, making her feel like she everything that he wanted, and she's soaking it up, y'all. Mm hmm. They'll never apologize. He's a narcissist to his heart. He would never apologize to nobody and no one. If he do, he don't mean it. He's brutal, y'all. And I'm going to tell you something, uh, Melody. You're better off without him. And he see it. He see that you're doing better without him. And that, that in itself is a slap in his face. <laughs>